Hello, my name is Robert Johnston, and I am presenting my senior design project, which is the information page for Avidine Corporation's Integra 2 IFD. The purpose of the information page is to display detailed information about airports, waypoints, and navigational aids for pilots. The airport information includes a runway map, airport communication frequencies, airport runway information, weather data, density altitude at the airport, and the sunrise and sunset at the airport. Waypoints and navigational aids only get a map and weather data. Included with every fix is a fix identifier, the name, city, and state. Shown here is an NDB navigational aid. The information for the navigational aid includes frequency, type, beacon, elevation, magnetic variation, country, and position. On the right hand side shows a map centered on the navigational aid with a range of 2 nautical miles. Possible ranges include 2, 10, or 25 nautical miles. Shown here is the airport information which includes airport elevation, magnetic variation, country and position. On the right hand side shows a runway map for the airport. The range for the runway map is calculated using a special algorithm which takes all the positions for the runways and ors them together which creates a bounding region. The range is then taken as the center of this bounding region to the lower left hand corner. This range is different for all airports and the purpose is so that the runway information will be displayed correctly for all airports. The next page is the runway page which gives detailed textual information for our selected runway. On the left hand side is a scrollable list of all the possible runways for the airport. The pilot has the option of scrolling down through the list to display detailed information on the right hand side for the selected runway. Runway information includes the runway surface, runway width, bearing, threshold elevation, position, and the type of lights on the runway surface. The next page is a communication page which displays all the possible frequencies for the selected airport. It's very similar to the runway page in, in that there's a scrollable list of items on the left hand side and a detailed display on the right hand side. The detailed information includes the frequency call sign, sector, the service, and the narrative. And as you can see here, there is no sector or narrative for the selected frequency. This is the sunrise and sunset page which displays the sunrise and sunset for a selected airport. To get the sunrise and sunset you need the date which is taken from the GPS and the position which is taken from the navigational database an algorithm from the 1990 Almanac for Computers is used to get this information. Now, this information is available for any position in the entire world as long as you have the current date and position. The sunrise and sunset is given in universal time coordinates but can be offset to give uh, any time zone in the entire world. Shown here is the airport density altitude page. The density altitude is calculated from a temperature, dew point, and barometer. The source of the data can be meet tire data or derived from airplane sensors or can be inputted manually by the pilot. The algorithm for density altitude is taken from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Shown here is the meet tire page. The meet tire information is taken from weather reporting stations throughout the United States and is received via XM satellite radio from a satellite receiver located in the airplane. Weather reports are updated approximately every 45 minutes 
while reports are sent approximately every 15 minutes through the satellite. The displayed Mi Tower data includes the age of the Mi Tower report, local winds or gust, local visibility, temperature dew point, altimeter, any local weather phenomenon, and cloud cover. The last page shown here displays winds aloft and freezing level information. The winds aloft data displays bearing and speed of wind at various flight levels. The flight levels start at 3,000 feet and continue up to 42,000 feet at 3,000 foot intervals. The freezing level is a point in the atmosphere at which the freezing point has been reached. Shown here, the freezing level is approximately 17,000 feet. This data is also received by XM satellite radio and is updated periodically. The source of this data is the National Weather Service. Thank you. This concludes my presentation.